So if you haven't seen Jordan Peterson, he he is one of the great debaters. And here he is in Australia talking. He's from Canada and he's in Australia talking to a feminist. So this week, Jordan Peterson appeared on Q&A. His sentiment, although popular, often undoes his own logic. While Jordan Peterson can occasionally come across as eloquent during the course of the debate, he has a tendency to commit uh, logical fallacies. While we, he hasn't given that much time during Q&A, uh, there's basically an outline for this. I think the debate went really well. I think he uh, put on some some pretty good points for a lot of these people that are on this panel. Or maybe you just think that representative democracy should be representative. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just think that women should be equally represented in the decision-making fora of our nation. Maybe that's really just about having proper equality in a body that's meant to be representative. Well, I do believe that women should have... I, I don't understand your question, I well, guess. Well, I guess you <laughs> yeah. don't. That's pretty obvious, unfortunately. Well, how about if you phrase it more clearly instead of just insulting me? <laughs> look, 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 look at it this way. Let's talk about quotas for a minute. So there's a, a very wide array of jobs that are fundamentally uh, done by men. So, for example... Member of Parliament. 99.9% po <laughs> <laughs> of sorry, bricklayers... I'm sorry, stop sledging you now, I promise. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to give my minute to Jordan. 99.9% <laughs> 9 .9 of bricklayers are men. Should we have quotas for women? Is bricklaying representative democracy? That has nothing to do with the question. The question is if, 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 if there's evidence of structural inequality and oppression because women aren't precisely represented at 50% in all professions at all levels, then why don't we have a conversation about having women represented it in all professions at all levels? Well, we why do we talk about the C-suite, for example? Why do we talk about politics and positions of power? Mm. Why don't well, we talk about it across the board? Okay, we're so we're, let's politics, just pause and... and uh, yeah, but that's because it's power. You, you pose a question to Terry Butler. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and answer it, then we'll hear from the other panellists. His question to me. Well, yeah, if you'd, about like, if, if you'd like to answer the question about bricklayers. There's nothing wrong with bricklayers. Why there are no of course there's in not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... I think you were trying to draw a distinction between bricklaying and running the government. And I was suggesting that a representative democracy should be representative. That was the point I made. And I Represent, don't think... Representative of it by quota? Well, sure, if that's what it takes. I mean, Yeah, well, that's exactly us. what you would no, say. But, but, you know, I can... I can... <laughs> No, that, just, look, that, that, that just means well, a dreadful strategic inadequacy uh, on look, your really, own. Really you steer, the Liberal Party steered away from quotas. I'm loath to interrupt and this. And the women are steering <laughs> away from the I'm Liberal Party. I'm actually quite enjoying this. I'm loath to interrupt. I'm, I'm really but enjoying it. Oh, no, they have quotas for the National look, Party. This, 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 assault, this assault on the Liberal Party from people that don't care about us at all and are our political well, enemies is often quite mystifying. But the absurdity of the position that Terry puts in this quota-based argument over time, it is a reductive, absurd argument. It's like saying no women vote for men and no men vote for women. It is not true. Um, people vote and seek for the best person to represent them in Parliament. Um, so quotas, you, you say quotas are a fabulous thing in the Labor Party because they've helped you meet a target. But there may be a day in our Australian Parliament, and it'll probably come sometime, where we have 75% women in the Parliament. That won't be a problem to me. Do you mean in occurs. 300 years' time when you guys no, it won't be a problem. There. It won't be a problem if that occurs that way. And it should occur that way if that's what people want. Okay, but let's... Thanks, Tony. This is for... See, I think this is the problem that we have in our politics today. Day is that they try to put people into politics because they want a quota. They want to have a certain amount of women. They want a certain amount of black. Uh, maybe um, uh, we have a lesbian black uh, speaker of the house or, or, or the press secretary. So they're trying to get quotas. And this feminist uh, in Australia, she just wants to have men sit at home, do nothing, and then women go out there and become the dominant factors out there. And Jordan Peterson kind of points out, and she wants to have quotas. She's saying, well, we need to have a certain amount of women in parliament. And he says, well, why don't we have a certain amount of people, uh, women uh, laying bricks? Uh, why don't we do a quota for that? And she's trying to single out, well, she thinks that more women should be in power. That's her feminist view of it. And versus, why don't we just put people in power who would do the best job for the people of that country, uh, whether it be a woman or a man, put the, the best people who are going to um, do the right thing for the country, who are going to uphold the laws, who are going to you know, make sure that we have good voting uh, system. So why not just put the right person in there? It's kind of like if you had a football team 
And are you going to put the best quarterback out there or are you going to put the uh, person out there that everybody feels good about? Or maybe you're going to put the person uh, at quarterback because uh, he is uh, – we need more uh, short people at quarterback. Or maybe we need more, um, I don't know, women as quarterback in the NFL. I guess what I'm trying to say is why not put the best person in that position to do the job for whatever – job it is. Uh, if it's a woman, put the woman in there. If it's a man, put the man in there. But to just, just to say that we don't have enough uh, women in power uh, because there's too many men, it's just, it's just crazy. Let people vote in who they think is the best candidate. If they think a woman is the best candidate to become president, let people vote it in, not just let's, let's try to get somebody in there because we don't have a woman.